Hello, everyone. How are you? This is Ms. Lambert. I am your educator for Sapphire Physician Coding. And this is a segment that I mentioned a couple of weeks ago regarding medical terminology. And just a quick slide just to show you a little bit about the courses and how they're going to be. So some of you guys, you know that I do not post full courses on YouTube, um, but that's in the works. I'm working that out um, to see how that can be done. But uh, for now, I'm just going to give you like an overview of what the courses are. Um, there's about 20, 21 courses. And this course is a medical terminology course. The medical terminology course is long. Uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat that because there are 22 chapters. Um, I did include um, psychology and pharmacology just in case somebody's going to college and they need those medical terms to stick in. Um, and remember, when you guys are doing this course, make sure that you have your index cards and your notepad uh, so that you can jot down what you need to uh, retain. So let's move on. I'm not going to read through uh, the slides or I'm not going to put the automated bot on uh, I'm just going to kind of go through quickly just so we can kind of put this on YouTube and you guys can get the gist of one of the courses. Um, this is just the objective uh, agenda for medical terminology. It's not the core of the course. Um, there's actually um, probably about 22 power slides to this. And when you guys get the course, they're all in there. Uh, and again, you can you can get the course uploaded or you can get the course mailed to you um, via flash drive. Um, I have one back here somewhere. Um, it actually looks like this. I just happen to have this. Um, the course will go in this box. This is the course. Okay. So if you order one course or you need cardiology, cardiovascular, Checkmentary center system XYZ, you will get the flash drive for that. If you guys order the entire uh program, uh everything will be on the flash lab flash drive. And again, I can upload that however you want it. Uh, when you go on www.sapphirecoding.com, it gives you a choice whether you want it mailed or do you want me to upload it to you. Um, and it can be uploaded uh Google Drive or I can send it to you in attachment. Uh, whichever you want. If you get it on a flash drive, you can put it wherever you want to put it. Uh, if you choose to do the flash drive, that's fine. I'll mail it to you. So uh, again, this is just your subject summary. Uh, welcome to the medical terminology course. The course uh, number is 8312A, your introduction to medical terms, anatomy, and physiology. Again, I'm your educator. I'm Lisa Lambert. I'm the founder of this program. So uh, again, as you can see, everything is in PowerPoint. Uh, when you get it, it will be in the form of Zoom. I will attach the Zoom to the flash drive or the Zoom will be in, on the website. Whichever e-commerce that we're using, we'll go ahead and use that. You guys can also go on, on my Amazon store, um, Black Phoenix Team Us. Uh, the courses are also in there. And I can tell you, if you're looking at this video, uh, you can go on amazon.com and put in medical building code and orientation Lisa Lambert, you'll find the course or Black Phoenix Team Us. Um, I always put a discount on Amazon, so you actually get two courses from one there. Okay, so if you guys are new and you've never done billing before, you've never done coding before, uh, start off with the medical billing and then go into the medical terminology. The next one would be the ICD-10 introduction course, then the CPT uh, introduction course. Uh, there's uh, exercises in there, tasks in there. Uh, you guys do have to give me a summary at the end of each subject. When I say subject, if you're in medical terminology and you're on uh, the digestive system, that's the subject summary. That's what I want. Okay. I, the, the summary is four to 500 words. Okay. Um, there are going to be tests and tasks in there. Um, we're going to go over that. So that's your course for medical terminology. And there is 50 questions on each one. So we're, we're going to go over a lot of material in medical terminology. So that would be your longest course. Medical terminology, ICD-10, um, your medical billing and uh, medical terminology, they're pretty, you know, they're pretty long. But you, by the time I finish with you, you'll be talking about Ms. Lambert. I've had enough. I know, I know, I know. 
And again, if you guys do not get enough, just make sure that you retake whatever course you want to take and you already have the material because you can download it and look at it whenever you want to. And again, uh, you can contact me any type of, you know, way that you need to, any form you can, you can text me, you can call me. I always put my phone numbers and email. It's on uh, every single course. You'll see my phone number and email in there. It's at the beginning and at the end. So you guys can make sure that you call me. Um, at some point, I will I will get it coordinated where we can do these classes uh, on YouTube. Um, I'm just kind of cleaning up a couple of things and making sure that I don't forget anything that's in here because, you know, every day I always find something that I do want to add to your classes. So uh, let's get started. And again, you know, you never know. You know, we don't want COVID to come back. We don't want any type of catastrophe to happen, you know, during that time in 2020. But some of you may want to learn how to work at home. And this is a perfect course, medical billing and coding. You know, I don't do certification for a certified uh, coder, but you will get that on www.aapc.com. And that's one of the gist of this course. Um, I try to prepare you to take that exam. Uh, if you fail it the first time, you take it again. Um, let's get, you know, let's get you more information. Let's show you what to retain. Because in the middle of the courses, um, by the time you guys get to the core coding uh, courses, the instruction on that is from the CPC guide. So there's nothing that I'm, I'm not going to give you that CPC has not approved for you to have uh, to take that test. But let's go ahead and get to the prereqs and see what's going on in here. And, and this is going to be like five minutes. I'm not going to pretty much go through the whole uh, the whole courses, but you know, I'll let you see what it is. And next time I'll show you what they actually look like as far as what we're gonna go through. This is just a medical terminology overview that I told you guys that I wanted to go through. Okay, so everything is in PowerPoint. Uh, if you get it in the book format, it'll be in book format. If you get it in the uh, digital format, it'll be in digital format. It'll look just like this, it will look in a PowerPoint. If you get it in the thumb drive, it's gonna be just like this, it's just gonna be in that thumb drive. Okay, so, uh, so this is the first slide. Okay, this is the second slide. And this is just basically telling you about medical terminology. What is it about? Where did it come from? Why do we need it? Uh, you can read this and uh, it'll give you more insight about what medical terminology is. Some of you have never taken a medical terminology course before. This is for you. Okay. Um, here, again, medical terminology is a language used to accurately describe a human body. All that information is in here and it's letting you know, you know, what the course is about. Okay, here we go. Root, root words, I can even say it, prefixes um, and more. Okay, so again, we talk about synonyms, um, assimilate slightly. Um, these words you need to know, the root words and vowels and things like that, because you have to put those medical terminology words together. Um, they they sound like they don't make sense when you're when they're broken up, but when you put those words together, they do. Uh, okay, so let's go to the next one just quickly. That's all I'm doing. When you get in the course, when you guys um, join the program, uh, this will be in depth. So I will go through this at uh, 100 and then we'll, you know, we'll get more of an understanding of what we're looking at. Suffixes are categorized as either needing the combining form or two, not needing the combining form since they start with a vowel. Now, your language of medicine book, I have courtesy everybody with a language of medicine book. Um, I've uploaded this book digital so that you guys can have it. It will, it will either be in your uh, PowerPoint, your product, digital, however you buy this program, that's what it would be, okay? Um, so let's move on. Uh, so this is a pretty short slide because it's pretty much um, giving you the agenda of you know what's going on. Um, uh, one quick online reference in a dictionary search engine. You know, whenever you have something that you're not sure about, go online and check it out so you can see, you know, is it accurate? Uh, do you need to know this? Um, if you have a medical terminology word that you're not clear on, um, go online and put it in there. Uh, I keep a medical dictionary because I'm kind of like old school. I like to go through the medical dictionary, but I go online too um, because sometimes people have different definitions of different things. Okay, so... Um, the next one, what do people use? Why do people use medical terminology instead of standard English? Here it is, you know, and you can always go on any one of these. I use um, Wikipedia. I mean, some schools don't use um, Wikipedia, but I do. 
So you can go on there and get some of the information that you that you need from there as well. Uh, let's see, because you're giving me a summary. Um, just make sure you don't plagiarize it. I mean, I don't want you guys to take anybody else's uh, material. Uh, okay, so this is just a pretty much welcoming you. Let's get started. Now that you know um, briefly, brief input about medical terminology, let's get started. This is just letting you know what's going on in the classroom. You see how I find these little things? This is why this is not out here yet, because I need, still need to clean up a couple of things from this. So that's why I said, let me just go on and kind of brief this with you so we can kind of go over this, because I did put that out a couple of weeks ago. But at this point in the stage in um, medical terminology, it's ready to go. You guys want it, you guys can have it. Um, if you guys need more um, information on this on the YouTube, send me a message and I'll put more information on here as far as the medical terminology course. Uh, the medical billing course is gonna be the same way. This is a course summary. The medical terminology program will consist of 21 chapters in the language of medicine book. Um, let me just add that in there. Um, and that's what we're talking about. When you get that book, you're going to see uh, those 21 chapters. We're doing everything on those 21 chapters, okay? And you guys can uh, you guys can replay this YouTube. Let me see if there's anything else on this because this one is uh, this is a YouTube uh, PowerPoint that I created. Let me see. Let me see. Seventies so passing grade of seventy. Okay, you guys know that. Even though you know, a lot of you guys know, I don't really care about the grade. I mean, I'm all right with A, B, C, D. You know, that's fine. But I want you guys when you take those tests. I'm going to grade them. You got to get at least a 70. I, I can't say you have to. You, I would prefer you get a 70. If you don't, I want you to take it over because I need you to be medical terminology savvy. You're not going to remember all that stuff. No, you're not. I don't expect you to remember everything, but I expect you to retain something. Uh, NSA must be submitted uh, for each section. That's what we talked about. Um, I want you to make sure that it is in detail. When I when I talk about that, let me let me fix this. When I talk about that subject summary, I'm talking about the uh the course that you're in. If you're in um eye and ear, uh that's just sense organs. Um, that's what the summary is going to be about. Okay, use the web, use books, whatever you need to. Um, that's what we're going to talk about. You can use your CPC book. Um, yes, this course you have to have the CPC book. Not in the first uh four courses, you don't. When you get to the fifth course, the that's your coding, that's your core courses, you need the CPC book because that's the gist of the class for you guys to pass your CPC. Uh, and the medical billing portion is for those who need to have medical billing report, uh, medical billing. There may be this much, I'm going to chop that down on the CPC on medical billing. Okay, so uh, again, at the end of every course, you guys will see Lisa Lambert, that's me. That's the phone number. That's the email. Okay. So uh, I'm going to put this how long we're in. I can't believe it. 26 minutes. You know that you guys know I hate to be on here that long because I know you guys have to go. Okay. And uh, today is so much snow outside. Um, I says, well, maybe some people are off. And usually I try to, I try to put the post out after seven. Uh, I'm going to put it out for for seven o'clock because some of you are at work so you know i don't know i want your bell to to, to pretty much ring off but um uh, i'm gonna clean this up and uh if you guys this is gonna be included uh with the medical billing course anyway i have to do a rundown and go ahead and clean this one up before i put it out but the books are already out there okay this is a this is just thumb drive portion so you guys go ahead check that out and this is how you know this is how it is um, I'm trying to see if, if I can get in and show you one of the other, well, since this one is here, I'll go ahead and pop this up. Let me see if we can get that up. All right. So since, since I'm already 27 minutes in, let's try to go to 30. Then I'm trying, I'm going to try not to keep you guys, but this is, this is, let's say, welcome to discussion one, course 8312, lesson five. This is lesson five. Uh, okay. Uh, it's the digestive system. You see, just, I'm just giving you a quick look. This is how it is. This is how the course exactly is. In your courses, you're going to see me right here in those courses. Just some of you who can't get in on a live Zoom, that's fine. I'm just going through. I don't need to read. I'm just going through so you can see what it is. Uh, complete the following. You're going to complete the following. Okay. You're going to have the book, the language of medicine book that I have provided to you in ebook e form. That's what you're going to look at. If if this is here, this is lesson five, and I try to correlate it with the same chapter. Lesson five is no, it's more than likely chapter five. 
Okay. So I don't really have to micromanage you, but you, you have to give me the answers to this. If you guys have a special, I don't know, program, um, like this program that I have, I can flip this anywhere I want. I can put it in Excel. I can put it in Word. I can put it wherever. You've got one of those programs. You can go ahead and flip this back to a uh, document, print it out if you want to, if that's how you want to do the test, but just send me the answers so that I can grade it and send it back to you, okay? So again, we just we just slide through just so you can see some of the medical terminology. Uh, build medical terms, okay? Give the names of the following gastrointestinal systems. Put that there, okay? Here we go. Complete the spelling for medical terms. Just all this is what you're gonna have to do. You see, I tried to make this as easy as possible. And I have a couple of different formats. This format, they're finally doing on the street. My nephew is stuck down the block. Um, so, okay, that's 14. See, you see how I have this? I kind of changed up in the middle of the program because I wanted to get all the um, questions in there. Uh, a couple of people were like, well, we want to print it. We want to print it. So I tried, I wanted to do it in print form. So that's why I changed it up a bit. These are fine. You can use are Okay. Uh, I'll do the print form on this one too, but I'll show you, you know, what the print forms look like. Okay, this is a class. This is one of the courses. Okay, this is medical terminology. Okay, this is medical terminology lesson one. Okay, let's get to the bottom. Okay, there's Miss Lambert. Okay, as you guys know, I don't like that picture because I don't know what I'm looking at, but I know that looks like an ID picture that I took from somewhere. But anyway, again, there's my email. Okay, you guys can get in touch with me anytime you want to. Uh, I just want to show you the other, uh, I'm going to show you the other format real quick. And then we're going to shut this down. Because um, I said I had two formats, right? So let's look at oncology. That's oncology. That's a lesson. Okay, that's oncology. What lesson is it? It's 19. Can you see that lesson 19? All right. So let's get in there. I think this one has the other format where you guys can print. Because I think Stacy wanted to print. And uh, she said she couldn't print the other way. So, so I, I, I reverted it and I, I did the PowerPoint this way so she can revert it and then so, so she can print because she said she wanted to do the test physically. I don't care how you do the test, but if you need me to do any kind of adjustment, just let me know. I don't know why that's saying title up there. But again, let me move this a little bigger because I can't even see that. That's why I made it, you know, in that PowerPoint because you, you, you can barely see it like this. But, you know, of course, you guys know I love pictures, so I try to get creative on things. So, okay, so this is your oncology lesson. This lesson is within the medical terminology. Okay, we go over this. We talk about this. I want to hear questions. What's going on? X, Y, Z. Give a uh, meaning for the following term, neoplasm, protocol, modality. You're going to find those answers in that language of medicine book. Okay? Give the accent and symbol. That the accent symbol means uh a e a. There's different type of plurals in medical terminology. Okay. Um, here's your next one. Okay, and see how I made it. I I can understand what she's saying. She she wants to print them. She can print them if she wants to. That's fine. So in order for you guys to print them in this type of format. I have to do it if you don't have that uh, if you don't have that software, which is fine. I don't have a problem doing that. Nobody needs to purchase any kind of software. You know, unless you have to or you already have it, because I've already put it, you know, in that format for you. OK, I'm just going down the line, just showing you this. Uh, and everything has um, Sapphire Physician quoting on top of it. You'll see some that have your name and a test score. Uh, it's not really necessary to have that. That's when I'm physically in the classroom and I have everybody put their name and I give them back the score like that. Okay. All right. So this is the last page. So remember what I said. Every last page should have my picture on it and my phone number and my email, okay? Every time I look at one, I'll see something. I'm gonna, they're supposed to go over this. I don't know, my nephew's not getting his car. Yeah, I, you, you guys know I'm sitting by the window. I'm not in the office today because I'm not going outside in that horrible weather like that to get about it. So uh, I am I am here and I'm not going out in that weather. Uh, we are in, we are in uh, Connecticut. Okay, so that's it. We're 33 minutes in. Um, so you got this goes on YouTube. Um, remember um, how we did the courses. You guys, 
have any questions, email me, um, subscribe to my channel. Um, whatever I can think of, I'll, you know, try and give you a rundown of, uh, you know, what we're doing, what's on there. And uh, we'll take it from there. Uh, I, I like this cover. I think I'm going to use this this one for the first page. Uh, probably put uh, self eye physician coding uh, up there. Uh, and, and and you guys look out for that Black Phoenix Team Us. That's me, Black Phoenix Team Us. Um, the store is called Black Phoenix Team Us. I will have uh, different types of products there. Uh, I have something I can show you, but this is not what that's about right now. I want to kind of focus on the class. And uh, you guys let me know. Uh, there are going to be times when I am going to do a live uh, YouTube. But, you know, my son always says, Mom, you need to go to YouTube class. You need to go to it. I'm going to do a YouTube class, uh, definitely. But um, right now, just just get it out there. We'll I'll work on that. So uh, I'll talk to you guys again. Uh, this is a medical terminology course. Okay, this is one of the lessons. This is oncology. Okay, lesson 19. Uh, there are about 22 lessons in the medical terminology. So I will see you next time. I'm signing off. This is Miss Lambert. Do not forget to subscribe. You, there's my number. There's my email. No sugar coat in that. Call me. Leave me a message. If you leave me a message, I'll get right back to you. If you send me an email, I'll get back to you. If I don't answer the phone and you call me, I'll have to get back to you through text or we can FaceTime. Okay, so you everybody have a great day. I'm not going to post this until seven o'clock when everybody gets off work. Okay. Bye-bye.